Well, I finally got a result using the um, stained glass cutting pliers because they've got a slightly different jaw on them. I managed to get some heat onto the actual piston and then I saw that tiny little gap I was talking about where the two piston rings, the ends touch, it slowly expanded the aluminium which opened them up enough for me to get in a very fine tipped screwdriver. Yeah, it's not going to focus on it, but anyway, a very electrician's fine tip screwdriver. And just with a slight left to right movement, managed to prise them open very gently. And then I used the glass pliers to just very gently grip the little piece that was coming out. And I pulled it backwards and forwards all the way round then put some penetrating oil in there, but don't forget the penetrating oil is going to cool down the piston, which is then going to make it sort of shrink a little bit. So I did a little bit of heat, a little bit of oil, a little bit of heat, a little bit of oil, and I finally got the top ring out, as you can see, if it's going to focus. Yeah, you can just see it now sticking out. So, all good. There it is. So that was the wrong one. There it is there. It's difficult to do one-handed. So there we go. Piston rings will all be taken out, cleaned up, and then checked, put in the bore in there. Use the feeler gauges and check whether when they close up, whether they're within the tolerances that are acceptable. If not, I'm just gonna replace them. Some people might say, well, why aren't you gonna replace them anyway? As they're out, you might as well replace them. I might well do that. But just for the hell of it, I'm gonna check the tolerances anyway and just give them a good inspection and then I'll make that decision. I'll probably end up putting new ones in. But you might as well go through the motions of learning all this and making sure that you do everything by the book, by the steps. And that's the only way you can work out what's good, what's bad. Radio, crack on.